Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Andrew, not Bill today. So Andrew's filling in. So what we're going to talk about today is this was, we just went through uh, uh, Milton and Helene and they were both devastating. And, you know, Milton sure. basically was wind and power outages. A lot of people still have power. We still have flooding from fresh water, rain. Um, Helene was a storm surge and we got wiped out. But Andrew is from California. This was his first hurricane. And we said, you know what, it, it might be cool, you know, if he talks about his experience, uh, you know, because I've been in many, many hurricanes and I've never seen anything like this. I have a, you know, I was always worried about, it. I always took hurricanes seriously, but after this one, I have a lot of respect for it. I really, I really do. So we're going to talk about what it's like to be in a hurricane and um do me a favor before we get started consider subscribing it really helps out the channel and it's greatly appreciated so what did you think of, of your first hurricane in florida well it was one and two helene and milton and they were pretty crazy i mean they were insane just the i mean i'm i don't live on the water but the amount of wind that was coming and how fast and hard it was hitting and the rain because i actually walked into my yard at one point during the rain and oh my god like it hurt really that rain hurt it, it was coming down so hard and fast and you know you ha i had to get out of the yard because we have a lot of trees around our house in in florida and so i was getting a lot of broken branches and not like little branches i mean like you know two three inches thick you know a f two three four feet long coming straight down and it was pretty brutal i i mean i could feel my windows in the house like you know, coming in and going out when the, the gusts of winds, because we were getting hit with like, you know, well, anywhere uh, 60, 70, 80 mile an hour gusts. Let me ask you a question. Is you getting, being in this hurricane saying to yourself, what did I do? Why did I move to Florida? It, did that thought cross your mind? No, not at all. Because hurricanes are only a couple of hours. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, the cleanup, is a nightmare. Well, well, let me ask you a question. Now, you your house didn't get any damage, but let's say your house did get damage, okay? And like so, a lot of these people got their houses got wiped out. Yeah. Okay. And so there, a lot of them are saying, you know what? I can't afford to live here anymore. I'm I'm out, and it's and it's scary. Some people, you know, tried to ride it out, and you know they had to get rescued. I would never, after what I experienced, and not even mean I would. I, you're insane to try to ride them out insanity to ride out a hurricane oh i i agree but do you have a whole new respect when it comes to the power of hurricanes oh yeah without a doubt i mean you know living in los angeles you know we had the fires but the fires were always in the distance you know what i'm saying because mm. you know you got to go up into the wooded areas but earthquakes and earthquakes are kind of scary but an earthquake only happens like you know it's just a couple of seconds maybe a minute if that and a lot of you know you get destruction but then it walks away and you can figure it out a hurricane that can go on for hours you know what I'm saying? It can roll in and depending on how fast it's moving. And Helene was Helene was moving fast. So that went over my house in about uh, an hour and a half. But the crazy thing about it was, is that happened like late at night, like 12 o'clock at night when that went over and you can't see anything. That's horrible. Yeah. When that That's happens, the I, scariest. Yeah. When you don't know what's happening outside, you, you no wake idea. up and you're like, oh my God, what, did, what just happened? Yeah. You have no idea what's going on out there. And you can hear that wind hitting the house and the rain and the wind. Uh, and I have a screen house around my pool. And literally the screens, the whipping sound from the screens. Holy cow. Unbelievable. But, okay, so so basically, so you, it's not enough, the, the hurricanes is not, not enough for you not to. Not to chase me away, no. Not enough to chase you away. Um but you you know a lot of people that were affected with oh, the damage. They uh, there there are people who have 100% total losses, and they don't even have insurance to help. You know they're out of pocket, and they might not even have the pocket money to, to rebuild. I mean now Hurricane Hurricane Sandy. Were you in that one in New York? I was. I was in L.A. again, but I had a house in there uh, in Long Island. On, on, in in Island Park, yeah, next yeah. to Long Beach. Yeah, and my my house I, it was it's two floors, but my whole first floor was destroyed. Now, just to redo my whole first floor was over $180,000. And I had insurance, homeowner's insurance, and I only had a $90,000 policy. So I was into pocket for over a hundred grand. 
and I didn't even live there, but I had to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But we, to. we also had to change everything, like for codes, we, like move the electric box up higher, you know, all sorts of things like that. Change up whether, you know, the, the outlets are no longer on the floor. Now they're up at like three and a half feet high, you know, all to this like new FEMA code, which will start happening around here. Cause a lot of these houses that got destroyed here were, you know, 20 and 30 year old houses that probably weren't up to code. And a lot of them were still very nice houses. You know, they were nice areas. People kept them up, but they just couldn't withstand. You know, like I, I got anywhere from 60 to, say, 85 mile an hour winds. You go down, you know, towards Tampa and they were getting 100, 120 mile an hour winds. I, phew, I know what 80 feels like. I wouldn't want to deal with 120. All right. Let me ask you this question. OK, so basically um, with with hurricanes, OK, do you recommend to people that are moving to Florida to really, really think about hurricane as one of the major decisions of moving to Florida? Yeah, you have you got to do your homework. I mean, you got to look at everything from like, if, especially if you're going to spend money on a house. If you're just buying a condo, you're going to come down for a couple of months and leave and you could care less. But if you're going to be here all year long and live in a house, you got to look at everything. You got to go get satellite imagery. You know, you want to know where the, for the last 75 years, where the hurricanes were coming and going, how bad they were, because a lot of that's going to play into if you're going to drop, you know, three, four, five, even eight or a million dollars on a piece of property like you can. A hurricane could take that away in like, you know, minutes, minutes. With the winds ripping through, rip your roof right off, take the walls right down. Well, that's why it's really important. If you're buying a house, you you really have to take into consideration, you know. But uh, of where you are. But here's the other thing. The, the back end of it is a lot of people will say, hey, I, they want to live in Sarasota, which is beautiful, you know, and, you know, every block is gorgeous. And it's, you know, keeping up with the, you know, the Smiths and the Johnsons routine. But they, they don't consider it. They just like, oh, this is a gorgeous house. I want to live here. And then when the hurricane happens, you know, that that next October, you're like, oh, my God, I should have never moved here because they they it was all flash in the pan to start with. You know, they were more on the, the hype and glory of, you know, the area they lived in. It was all beautiful and everything's, you know, brand new and this and the other thing. But they don't like I, I can't say that I didn't think of it that way, but I guarantee a lot of people hurricanes, they, it doesn't really come into the forefront until it hits. When I bought my house years ago, I thought about it, but I didn't think about it the way I would think about it today. Well, the whole thing, too, is you, like this, where we are right now filming this, um, you know, we're in a big time hurricane impact area. We're right on the water. And the whole thing is I wouldn't buy a ranch here. I'd buy the house like it's across from me, like in a stealth. Because those things are made to handle hurricanes. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I've seen photos of houses falling off the stilts, you know, if they don't do it right. But you got what you got to do is build buy a house that's on stilts that's done right. Well, the, these houses are built kind of pretty much the same way they're built in Los Angeles for the earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Like those I-beams that are in those pylons there, those things go down 16, 20 feet into the ground, well, yeah, all well, cemented, well, you know what I'm yeah, saying? They come California. up. Yeah, each yeah. area is a little bit different. Yeah, but. and you know, and the, and the frame of the house is a, is a steel I-beam, you know, and they have, these have the, uh, the metal roofs so you don't get the shingles ripping off and they're all buckled down. I mean, but then again, these houses behind us right now, you're talking like a million five, a million eight, two million dollars, and they don't look like much. Well, they're, they're not that much here, but they will be eventually. Yeah, they're going to be. Yeah. I mean, there's a house down there at the end that's still old school, like it's got the Spanish tile roof. Yeah, that's I, I'm amazed how that thing is still standing. You know, well, that, thing, that thing is built pretty well. But yeah. so, so basically, overall, what what do you? I mean, like I, what, 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 what's your, I what's your Florida, advice to people? If I move to Florida, I would not move on the water. No, no. If I was coming down, I mean, I'm not on the water to start with, but I would never move on the water in Florida. No way in hell. It's like you got to really be I don't want to say out of your mind, but you really got to be like you really got to understand it. You got to know it's like you. Uh, you uh, could do it. Well, I moved to Florida to live yeah. on the water. No, but you went you're like you get it. You're like, you know what? I got to build a house that's 16 feet above ground. Yeah. I got a concrete retaining wall. I got this. I got, you know, like you got to really understand it. And that's your well, business. You yeah. I mean, it. the house that I'm building is meant it's built to Which in like a category five, maybe six or a seven. And if the water reaches the house and it's 18 feet above ground level, if it reaches the house Florida's pretty much. Uh, that, means, that means the whole state of Florida is underwater. Yeah, so it's just like. Yeah. 
Like I, you know, this one was supposed to be a ten foot storm surge or a fifteen foot storm surge. You but know? your but your property here was under what? About six to eight feet of water? No, it was here. It was five feet underwater. Okay, so that means this dock was five feet underwater. My boat was is on a trailer over there. That boat floated and it, and I anchored it down and it was doing three sixties. People were telling me, and the only reason it didn't it didn't um, leave is because I anchored it to the property. But there's literally a dock next to us. And that dock floated, it goes from the other side of the canals, it floated between those houses, over the fence, and landed over here. Oh, so that's not even your dock. No, it's their dock <laughs> over there, and then all the way across. <laughs> it, it came across the street, over the, the six-foot fence. Holy cow. You know, and, yeah. and, and, they, and they went all over the property, floated, and landed on my property. Wow. And I thought, I thought it was my dock. For and a that's second. a pretty nice dock. I know. I didn't know who it was. And then I, I talked to the people across the street. They're like, hey, you missing the dock? They're like, yeah. And that dock had to float over the pylons in order to get out. Yeah. And the pylons are, you know, look at yours right here. They're a good yeah, so seven feet up or just off the property, you know? Yeah. And they actually floated over. And then that's how powerful these storms are. Yeah. I Put, put it this way. There are still people. Now, uh, today's uh, the 14th, Monday, and that storm happened last when was it last thursday wednesday wednesday thursday yeah All right so we're talking you know four, four or five days now and there are there are a lot of people still in florida with no power yeah Ga my, gasoline is my parents don't have power my mother's still living at my house uh, gas stations there's no gas to be found no you know you if, if they if a gas station gets gas the line is a mile and a half long so do you have any other advice for these people that are moving Think about it. I mean, seriously. I mean, Florida is beautiful because you can you can drive pretty much anywhere here. The state is only give or take sixteen hundred miles like long from you know the the welcome sign below Georgia all the way to get to Miami. So think about it. Just be like, hey, you want to live in this beautiful climate? See, I don't think it's that long. No, it's sixteen hundred miles. Yeah, to go from from the state border coming in the welcome sign, the state line all the way to Miami is sixteen hundred miles. You really think so? I, it's the signs right there. I drove through it just several months ago. I saw the sign and it said, like, you know, Jackson. 1,600 miles is like, like Virginia Beach is what, 900 miles, 840 miles? To so go from, 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 from here to Virginia Beach is 840 miles. Yeah, like but that. we're, but to so go now from. So you say 1,600 miles from the Georgia line to, to Miami? Yeah, that's what the sign says. So 1,600 miles. That's what the sign said. You know what? I got to verify this. On let's video. look it up well, live live on video. <laughs> All right. Let's see. That's what the sign said. I even was like, how big is this Hold thing? on a second. Okay. From the Florida-Georgia line to the Keys, how many miles is it? I don't know, but i just tell you what the sign said. <laughs> All right. 113 miles. From what? All right. Not 100. 810 miles. Yes, driving this between Atlanta to the Florida Keys is 810 miles from Atlanta, Georgia. So go from the Flor go from the Florida the Florida border at the northern border to Miami. Because right, you got to remember when you're coming you down, you got to go like don't this. Don't talk for one second. How many miles is it from the Florida Georgia border to Miami? 616 miles. Then why does that sign say 1600? <laughs> It said one six zero zero because I even if said that. If you say anything, verify the facts. I even said that. I was like, "How is this state this big?" It's not. Ah, well, the sign said it. I mean, maybe you think about from New York. No, it said six, I, it said sixteen hundred miles. I couldn't believe it. I was like, "No way in hell!" This is this is Angie's video, by the way. I'll put it on my channel, but this is Angie's video. So whatever comments you you guys have, direct it towards him. He's he's so he's so afraid of comments. Give him all the comments in the world. <laughs> give, give, give Andrew the comments. But put it this way, people: if you're going to move to Florida, it's a beautiful state. It's got it actually overall has really great weather. In if you break it down throughout the course of years. You know what I mean? Hurricanes don't happen every single year. Sometimes you get two or three hurricane years in a row. And it's like last year, there was no hurricanes here. Um, and I was here last year. That's why this became my first hurricane. Well, we did have hurricanes last year. But they you were way it. down. Like It's still Florida. Yeah. But, it's, <laughs> but you know, Florida's beautiful. And if you can, if you, if you do your homework, you could have a really good life in Florida. A really good life. All right. That's today's video. Greatly appreciate it. And do me a favor. Consider subscribing. Check out this video. Thumbs up. Check out this video over here. It's really cool. I picked it out for you guys, and we'll talk to you in the next one. See you later.